Giant cannon and Mew Mew! Hey, what's up my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Power Rangers movie, Sabretooth Battlesword. So here we are, and there it is. And first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. As is with all of the packaging for these Battle Zords, just open packaging. The Zord just sits right there. We'll just move this off to the side for now. You can see the morpher there in the background. Sabretooth Battlesword with Yellow Ranger. That's not the Yellow Ranger, that's... That's red. Warning! Please don't eat anything in this box. That could be very bad for you. And of course, if you have all the Zords, you can build the Colossal Megazord Power Rangers. Power Rangers. Words. On the back of the box, you have your obligatory product shots. And again, if you have all five of the Zords, you can make the Colossal Megazord. And that's basically it for the packaging. So, moving right along, here we have the Sabretooth Battle Zord, the Zord of the Yellow Ranger. And again, very, very interesting design, very, very different take on the Sabretooth Tiger Zord. And, uh, yeah, these, these things are interesting. They're weird and interesting at the same time, but mostly weird. But that's what makes them interesting, as far as I'm concerned, anyway. So let's get in close here so we can see the head sculpt. You do have a lot of nice gunmetal gray plastic on this uh, on this Zord, which does look nice. And you do have some nice molded detail there. You kind of have like a Dino Riders vibe here. Like it has that, that helmet on there with the guns. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Technically, that's what it is. <laughs> when you think about it, um, you do have the, uh, the fangs here done in silver. And you got some of that metallic blue right there, which I'm assuming is supposed to be the cockpit. And the front legs, you can see you got some nice molding right there. The legs, as you can see, are totally hollow. There's nothing going on there, just hollow legs, unfortunately. Um, you do have some nice silver paint going down the back with some nice molded detail. And you got some more molding, unfortunately. You know, none of it's picked out in paint. There you go, you can see the hind legs there. Again, some nice molding done in that gunmetal gray plastic. These are also just totally hollow. And that's pretty much it. You have your uh, connector pegs here for combined mode. And that's pretty much it. Um, Articulation-wise, the head can move down for transformation. Can't move up, but you can move it down, all the way down, if you want. Uh, the legs can move out. Again, that's due to the uh, combination feature. And you can do that, although that looks weird and really bad, because that's all hollow. So, yeah, don't use that. Um, the hind legs, you can't do anything with except pop them off. That's pretty much all they can do. That's pretty much it for the posability. Um, it does include the big uh, double-barreled cannon blaster thing, which is just done in that silverish plastic with some older detail. And that just plugs into that port right up top, right there. And you push the button on top, and it goes... Does that? There you go. That's loud. Jeez. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so there you go. There's your uh, your play feature right there with the big double guns up top, and of course you get a little yellow ranger figure right there. Okay, very simple, very basic. You got some black there for the visor, a little bit of gunmetal gray for the mouth plate, and some blue there on the chest. And the articulation is the same as the others, you just have rotation at the shoulder, and the legs can move forward, and can't move back, and that's pretty much it. So, there's your little Yellow Ranger, and Yellow Ranger can store inside the Sabretooth Tiger. Just open up this panel right here, and there's not much going on. They tried to mold a seat in there, but that's just, that's just a rectangle, but anyway. <laughs> They tried to do something in there. And yeah, uh, just take the Yellow Ranger, sit her down in there, close it up, and voila, she is now piloting the Sabretooth Battle Zord. Just plug the gun on, and there you go. That's pretty much all there is to it. So for comparison, we will bring in the Tyrannosaurus, and we'll bring in the Pterodactyl. What are we going to do with the Pterodactyl? Here, you, you stay there. Okay, there you go. Right, hey, you, hey. There you go. There we have our Zords so far. Three down, two to go. There you go. 
So there you have that, and that, and that's basically it. That's all there is to talk about about the saber tooth battles. Oh, you know, I since I showed the combined modes for the other ones, I'll I'll keep showing the combined modes for the individual swords. So uh, to get the saber tooth tiger into combined mode, you just take the head and you flip it all the way around. You can see there is a uh, there's a clip here that's going to clip over this post right there. Just push that in; that'll snap into place. And then you just take the front legs here and you just bring them out and these will peg in to the uh, peg onto the Tyrannosaurus and that's that's combined mode right there. That's combined mode. You can't do anything with the legs, unfortunately. I guess you could just take them off. If you don't like them hanging out back there, you could just pop them off, but there you go. That's basically combined mode for the Sabretooth Battle Zord. That's it. That, that's it. So there you go. <laughs> Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. There you go. And this gun just goes pegged onto the uh, forearm of the Megazord. But we'll show all that off when we actually combine the Megazord. But uh, yeah, that's that's it. That that's it for the Saber Tooth Tiger Battle Zord. Again, very interesting, very different, very far out there designs. You know, again, I understand that they're going for this is alien, so you know that that makes it make more sense to me that they're going for the whole alien technology thing. Um, like I said, hopefully they just pull it off well in the movie. Um, from the trailers, I mean, the Zords look awesome in the trailer. That last trailer, we actually saw some Zord action. They look way better in the movie than the toys make them look, and I, I knew that was going to be the case. Um, obviously, the toys rarely do the on screen, you know, do their on screen counterpart justice, and this is definitely a case of that. But yeah. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing the movie, because the Zords definitely look a lot better in the movie than the toys are making them look. <laughs> but there you go, so if you would like a Sabretooth Battle Zord or any other Power Rangers movie toys, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. You can also check out my Power Rangers playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out Endgames, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all that good stuff down in the description below and i think that's pretty much all there is to say so there is the power rangers movie saber tooth battle zord and this is emgo saying remember you don't stop playing because you grow old you grow old because you stop playing be geek be proud pour me in your face <laughs>